we're having a look at our goddess pose. So this is often a pose. If you would like, you can get into it. It depends on what exactly you're doing it for. If it's a part of a sequence, it's typically worked into a beautiful um, yoga sequence, uh, vinyasa practice. It's um, it's a posture you can do alone. Most postures you can do alone anyway. Um, we're looking at what we'll do is I'm just gonna start. Over there. We're gonna have a quick glance at our goddess pose. So in this pose, what we're essentially doing is we're going to bring our feet at an angle and to make sure that you are in that alignment, a good way is you can bring your feet about a leg apart. So that depends on your leg and the length of your leg. It's just a good estimate to kind of go by. If you can't quite get it that far apart, that's fine because that's as deep as you're, you're gonna get it. And you're just looking at the tops of your toes and see that they're in alignment with the corners of your mat. Now from here, we're gonna squat down. And essentially what we're doing is the deepest we wanna go, we wanna parallel those legs to the top of our mat. And then we bring our arms up. And if you've exercised a lot before, you've heard this called goal pose. So this here is essentially our goddess pose. Now in this po posture, you're opening your chest, you're bringing relief and length to your spine and your neck and your shoulders. You're opening your groins, you're really engaging those glutes and that core you're engaging. So side two, what we're not looking for, because we want to keep that pelvic tilt going that we're learning about. So we don't want a posterior or interior anterior tilt to our pelvis area, which applies improper uh, pressure and exceeded pressure on our spinal column and our pelvic area, which we do not want to do because that can bring an injury, irritate injuries. It's not the goal. Our goal is to heal and bring peace to our bodies and systems. So we'll just get in this posture side too. What I'm going to show you is you can squat down, bring your legs parallel. Now, if you can't get that deep, that is fine. Um, you've worked yourself down. Of course, the deeper, the lower you go, the more you're gonna be challenged. If you stay in this posture, you're definitely gonna break a sweat. You're going to feel it. I know there's times that not yoga, but typical exercise, they get you to go in this and they'll call it like uh, sumo squats, I think they're called. And boy, when you can hold them or you can even get in it and you can pulse, like you can bring a pulse <laughs> to this posture. And that's, a workout in itself. So what we're looking for is when we're in this goddess posture, we want to make sure that our back is lengthened, that lower back is straight. So we don't want the bum stuck out and we don't want it right forward. We just want that nice tuck. So as you tuck and you practice tucking, you're going to feel those glutes engage, the lower abdominal engage, and therefore you will automatically feel your spine lengthen and strengthen. And that will help you prevent injury in our goddess posture. Now this posture, the goddess can bring a tightening in the pelvic floor. If you're having pelvic floor issues, it can stimulate your sex organs. So it, it brings <coughs> stretching to your uterus, essentially, um, in this posture. So it can aid if you're having some fertility issues or say you're in the planning stages of looking at going forward with childbearing and you're preparing, it's a posture that you can practice and it can help um, with those, with your fertility. Um, just trying to think about, miss telling you anything about this posture. Uh, I will repeat this just in case, but it is your root and your sacral and your solar plexus that are brought in to this, um, this asana. So I hope that you can enjoy the goddess one. I don't mind doing goddess. In goddess, you can also, you might bring in some eagle arms. That's typical. In goddess postures, it's typical to do different hand mudras. Um, your arms, um, some instructors will bring in different arm, arm, arm postures, mudras, etc. Um, just to accentuate it. More. I hope that you can enjoy Goddess Pose and have a great day.